The OECD has slashed its global growth estimates for 2020 from plus 2.9 percent at the end of last year to 2.4 percent for 2020 as a whole. If we look at the uh, reduction in estimates, they based it fundamentally on the impact of the coronavirus epidemic. It seems rather optimistic, if not uh, very optimistic, to believe that the global impact of the coronavirus epidemic will be only 0.4% of global GDP. The estimates that we have seen out there move between 0.5 to 1% of global GDP. However, I think that starting from the premise that the OECD is not going to post catastrophist or pessimistic estimates, the reality is that what we can certainly do is to say that uh, the, those reductions are moving exactly in the way in which they were moving in the fourth quarter of 2019. We already saw Japan posting very weak figures, Germany as well. Also, we saw India and Mexico, uh, among other emerging economies, moving into the risk of stagflation in their economies. So that is what we need to consider, that there will not be a V-shaped recovery from the coronavirus, that we have a, a, a longer term trend, a structural trend of global growth that we cannot forget, and that weak growth and the risk of stagflation remain. So let's keep, uh, let's keep in mind those factors and let's keep in mind uh, the changes in the trend uh, to monitor whether these uh, impacts on global growth will be higher than what we are estimating right now.